Now this video is for people that may not have a Realtek or another sound manager installed. By the way, you can install this one on a lot of older Realtek systems. Just follow the link in this video in the top right and you'll go to my uh, earlier video that shows how to install it. But if you can't get it installed, we're going to cover how to do all the configuration using the default Windows sound panel. Now when it's moved to rebuild everything from the old system of control panel, Windows has done a great job of hiding it. But if you go up here to the uh, top option off of your, when you right click on your sound icon, you'll see settings. You get to the sound page and then you have to scroll down and there it is there. Newer versions will not have this link. But currently right now there is another way on different versions to get to, get to this. And that's by going over here and right clicking and choosing sounds if it appears there. You go to the sound panel that way and then you're back to where you need to be. Okay, first thing I want to make it clear that it, depending upon the system that you're using, you might see different versions of the sound panel and its options. This one here is for my Realtek system, full-blown system. This one here is a VIA audio. It's not going to have as much stuff in, in the details. And lastly, I have the laptop one, which is a very simple audio interface. But whatever sound panel does show up, you should see all your audio devices that are set up here under the playback and then those under the recording tabs. And if not, you don't have the correct drivers installed. So I'm going to show uh, my motherboard as a typical motherboard and how it's set up. For example, here are the connections on my motherboard in the back. Now I'm going to focus on the stuff on the right, which is all the audio plugs and which ones plug in to where and when. So let's take a look. So if you have a very simple stereo two channels, you just plug into the green and uh, that will be spread across the uh, two speakers uh, connected to your system. Now if you have a 2.1 system with a little speaker uh, besides your left and right, uh, the cable will automatically work using the same green outlet. Starting with a 4.1 system, you should have two cables, one for front and one for rear, and you plug them into the appropriate connectors in the back. Then with the 5.1 system, you need a separate uh, cable uh, for the input for the center subwoofer. Then finally with a 7.1 system, you need uh, yet another connection uh, to drive your side speakers. And that mainly deals with your uh, motherboard connections on the back. But what about other things? Your front panel, where do you plug in your headphones? Well, if you look at your motherboard, there are some connectors on your motherboard that will connect up to the front input jacks. There's a cable that's supplied with your case, and it should be connected here. And the wiring is set up here for both HD audio and legacy uh, connections. So once you have everything set up, we can go ahead and start to look at using either the of Realtek or your manufacturer's built-in sound panel to do stuff. Again, if you have a Realtek system, uh, try using the link in the top right to install this panel. And in the newer version of Windows, you can use the sound page and the settings app to do some of the functions. But we're going to talk about the advanced uh, down in the dirt detailed functions that we can do using the Windows old sound panel. So here we go. The first thing to note about all these uh, tabs and your playback and recording devices is that they'll be listed there as long as you have them set up on your system and the correct drivers installed. As a matter of fact, if we open up the device manager and we look at it, you'll see all the devices here underneath the sound, uh, each one of the ones we're going to be talking about in this panel over here. So since it's the first tab, let's look at the playback devices first. And you see in this listing that, uh, let me close this over here. And you see here in this listing, uh, you'll see all the devices. There's one of my monitors that has built-in speakers. Uh, it's disabled because I don't use that. There's another monitor down there. And I don't use the NVIDIA output on my graphics uh, output for the HDMI either. So let's talk about uh, down here. We get to where I really want to use is my external speaker system I have. I have a 5.1 system. You'll see here I have them set up as my default uh, device, my default sound device. Uh, the next thing I have is my headset, which is my, uh, my default communication device uh, to speak with. Uh, however, I override that with my microphone later. Uh, but these two are their main devices. And we'll also see listed here number two and number seven, which are the default uh, digital outputs. Uh, one's uh, coaxial and one's optical. So they're listed here as well uh, on, the, on the list. And I'm not using them. I, don't, I have one disabled and one not. But because uh, just to show you that uh, you can have those and use those if that's the kind of connection you have set up. 
And then finally, because this is an older system, I added a Bluetooth dongle to it, and I can hook up my earbuds to it uh, using that. And right now they're showing and disconnected. Okay, now moving on to uh, recording, I have uh, a life cam camera, but I don't use the audio on it, so I have that disabled. And I have the front end, which I have not connected, but there's where I have the uh, mic that I'm recording now on, is in that uh, connected, and that's my default. Uh, and then there's line in, in the front and line in into the back for hooking up uh, old music players or whatever you want to have uh, input set up there. And stereo mixes is exactly what it says. It mixes everything together, and I just turn that off. Uh, it will uh, upload from anywhere. And again, microphone again. This is the one when I have my earbuds that have communication abilities built in. Okay, we're going to basically skip over the sounds and how you can configure specific sounds. But that's not really the topic today. But we do want to go to the last tab, which is communications. And that's years ago used to have uh, connections to where you could dial out, use a dialer uh, to dial out. Uh, but what's important here is reduce the amount of volume. You might want to check that. So finally, let's go to the back panel and uh, take a look here. And we'll click on speakers and go to the properties there. And depending upon your motherboard, it will show you certain things. For example, uh, it shows you the physical connections, and there's left and right, right, left, right, right, depending upon your physical hardware. So let's go to levels. Okay, first of all, you'll see the slider for your main volume level. This is no different than the one on your windows down to the bottom right-hand corner. You can click on here, though, and you can say balance. So if you want to balance your speakers differently, uh, more to left, more to right, because of physical placement in the room, uh, you can do that. But hang on, because we're going to go into advanced room configuration later. So moving on to the uh, next one down, it's a microphone. You see that's disabled along with, with the front end. Things I don't use, I just leave them disabled. A line in and all that depends upon what you have plugged in uh, to what you have enabled. So you might want to go back and check uh, uh, these inputs here and decide which one you need to have the controls set up for. So we head back to the uh, levels page and uh, go down, continue going down the list. OK, so I'm going to disable the line in there. Front green in, don't have it, it's disabled, don't need to worry about that. Here we now start looking at some of the things, like the side speakers. If you have uh, side speakers, again, if I bring up uh, the Realtek, you can see what you have here. But if you don't have this, again, we can go ahead and use the uh, app for that. But then we go down to the other ones. We see the center, there is no left and right on the center speaker, obviously. Uh, so there's no button over there. Same with the subwoofer. If we move down to the rear speakers down here, you'll see that we can adjust their volume depending upon how you want your room set up. And you can go over here and uh, click on uh, their balance as well for left and right. Uh, again, uh, configurable here uh, to a certain extent in the uh, sound panel. And make sure you use the scroll bar over here to get down to the other ones, other settings you may have as well. And do that for each one of your pairs of speakers. And then once you're done with your main uh, speaker panel, don't forget to go down to uh, the other devices. For example, here we're going down here to the headsets. And by looking at it, once we highlight it and hit properties, uh, we can go ahead and see the levels here. And we can adjust them the same way we did for the speakers. Now, depending upon your drivers, you may have some of these other enhanced uh, settings as well. But I'm going to get into that mainly when I show you about how to do it for your speakers. And the same thing happens when you're talking about digital output. Uh, depends upon, they may have enhancements there as well. Uh, they may not. Uh, digital uh, is very uh, different. This is the one for the internal connector, and it talks about what kind of formats are there. So you should check each one of these and make sure that you have it set for what you want. But if you're using the optical format, the optical device, uh, let's go, uh, move over to that, the optical output over here, uh, and you check on properties there, you're probably going to find that you're not going to see the same ones that are in digital. Uh, you click on properties here, and you see there's no extra tabs or anything. There's no configuration. This is just optical connection to your optical receiver. And then lastly, real quickly, we can talk about my uh, earbuds. Uh, there's not much going on here. It's just uh, hand-free audio uh, with a generic driver from Microsoft. Now, I'm going a little bit backwards here, but I'm going to go back to speakers because I didn't want to cover on detail these until I showed that every different component has different things listed. So let's go to here to enhancements and my particular uh, Realtek driver. 
Now, at first glance, it looks like this may not have uh, all the settings that the uh, Realtek driver has. But if you notice here, once you click on something in the top, it gives you the options. Uh, let's take a look at the Realtek, for example. If I go over here to the speaker configuration, and, there, and then over here to sound effects. And then I'll slide it off to the side so we can see the sound panel. And you'll see that it has the same exact things. If I change them there, let me move this back into view. You notice it changed as well. So if I, uh, let me get this right here. If I change it, if we look up there, you'll see that it's changed there. Uh, so they're linked together. They were all controlling the same settings uh, in Windows. And the same for the equalizer. If we click on equalizer and we look at settings down here, here are all the equalizers uh, that we have available. If I click jazz here, it changes to jazz there as well. Now, what's not really apparent that uh, you'll see all these pre-existing settings for all these, but you also have uh, under the equalizer, you can click on the equalizer uh, tabs and you can see those there. Okay, so the graphic equalizer. But guess what? Let's go back to the sound panel. If you look right here next to jazz or whichever one you have selected, click up there, boom, you have the same exact equalizer with the same exact settings. It's just prettier in Realtek. And you can slide it here. You'll see that the setting in Realtek will change as well. Uh, so it's important to uh, note that you do have this, this capability in the sound panel. And I'm not going to go through all these, but one of the ones I wanted to cover uh, was when you come over to room correction, you can actually set up your feet and inches and all that and your loudness for your room correction. If you click on room correction uh, and you see it here in the uh, app over here in the Realtek, you'll see it has different things. I have my back speakers further away. Guess what? Boom, there they are. The same exact thing that the Realtek shows uh, is available, of course, in the original sound panel. So there you have it, uh, how to use the original Windows sound panel to do advanced configurations. It may be a little bit harder to get to and do, uh, a little bit harder than the motherboard one, if you have one. If you don't, you can always rely upon the sound panel. Now eventually some of these advanced settings will make it into the settings app, but for now, use this, play with it, tweak it until you're satisfied. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.